Bo Wellington. Let's get into stories that are making our local entertainment buzz. Now, first up is Neo and Nexus Music. So, if you know, Nexus Music is, it, it's known for shunning certain artists and even not so long ago i think we did speak about this last week wednesday how afunika might have left the umbrella but we don't really know because no statements are usually put up we don't see anything go up on social media but chill uh sorry um Neo had actually said he was going to release a song and a video and when he did put this on his personal page before hyping it up and waiting but on the day that the video was promised to be posted was the same day that Mr. Romantic by your maps was put up now when this was done Neo had to go into the comment section of Nexus Music's Facebook page to say I am not happy with what's happening and this is his comment so his comment just says I'm not happy happy but what's so funny is instead of all of this being sorted out behind closed doors or behind the scenes or behind Nexus Music goes ahead to put up a post on their Facebook apologizing to Neo. So in the post, Neo Slayer Zambia, your new song Back to the Sender is a masterpiece. We apologize for not releasing your fire video on Friday as promised. Sorry, Neo, we shall release it soon without much delay. Listen to this masterpiece. They even shared the link for Boom Play. This is not all, my people. This is not all because the other camp Kalanda, your music promotions even put up the same song in a post to their Facebook saying this is a beautiful job. If you slack, you will lose. That's just how Lusaka is, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a record label, because things always seem to be in chaos with Nexus Music. When people leave this label, when people decide to no longer be affiliated to it, to, to it it's always... It, it's always he said, she said, we never hear it from them exactly. And even with this particular happening, lots of people online are very, very upset because Neo is a great artist, an artist that they should be pushing forward. But Nexus is infamous for pushing a certain number, a certain type of artist, especially to their Facebook. You find out uh, Javen needed or is supposed to release an album. But these guys are so quiet about it that I don't think this album is going to come out sooner than we expect it. And this always happens. Bombshell also released an album under them, but it always seemed like it was more of a Bombshell project than Nexus was, the, 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 like Bombshell signed Nexus and not Nexus signed Bombshell. Same thing with t -Shon when he left The Umbrella. Afunika had to release a song titled Fuante Kubulo is Fuante Kubuloko, which is so crazy for a label. When they came onto the scene, we all thought these guys are going to be the more organized bunch. These ones are going to be the guys who are more surface sophisticated, they took on the new kids, they took on the brands, they took on the guys that look amazing, but it's always the same people being promoted on their Facebook page, and Facebook has gotten to it. I mean, people online have gotten to it, and so many people are like, Neo better leave this particular label because it doesn't seem like a profitable venture for him of course people had their stories saying no it's because they bought him a car so he can't leave the contract is so rigid it's so tight but neo hasn't really addressed this all i know is this is not the way to handle talent if you are nexus music and even um Mulenga had said this not so long ago to say, Nexus Music is infamous for a certain type of people, especially since they signed your maps. Ever since Mr. Romantic, Mr. Finally joined this label, this two weeks have been consecutively Mr. Your Maps because he's doing great on YouTube. I mean, uh, his, his single location just hit a million and even Mr. Romantic was up to 100,000 views in less than a day, which is amazing numbers for these people. But seeing how a lot of people have been shunned, especially in this time when Neo had been forcing this song and saying, oh, no, I'm going to put it out. This song, Back to Sender, is going to be, you know, the song that everybody needs to look out for. Nexus Music is just quiet about it. And the, the picture that came up was Kalanda, and you're saying, um, if they ain't treating you right, we got you. We are backing you up. We know what's happening. We know what's going to be going down just in case these people don't treat you well. What are your thoughts on this particular story? I feel Nexus, like I said, is infamous for this. They are always doing this. But moving on to 